Hey everyone, in this video we will discuss the concept of iterator cardinality. So um, we discussed that an iterator will um, go through row by row for any given table. So let's say you've got multiple tables involved. So for example, I've got this dim product table and it's got um, 606 rows. So I've and then I've got another table called fact internet sales table. And if I use these two tables in, inside an iterator, so this is 60,000 rows and that has 600 rows. So if I use both of them, it, it would not be the multiplication of uh, the number of rows in our dim product. That is 600 into 60,398. It would be the number of times, uh, depending on how the function is written, um, that the evaluations would happen. Maybe I'll just take an example to make this thing clear. So I've got the DAX Studio. You can download it. You search on Google for DAX Studio, and then you can download from SQL BI. And this is, so essentially I'm hooked on the, the Power BI data model, and I've written a simple DAX where I'm just evaluating. For, so I'm summing up for each row in the DIM product table. I'm just uh, uh, finding the DIM product list price minus standard cost into the order quantity. So I just want to find out what is the profit, for example. So all I'm saying is what is the list price minus what is the standard cost. And then I'm just multiplying it with, with the order quantity. So in this case, what will happen is for each row in the DIM product table, it will go and fetch all the corresponding uh, uh, or, products in the order quantity table so essentially uh, it will get evaluated um, 60,398 times um, so it, um, that's how how the evaluation would happen that is for each row in the dim product table it will find all the products in the fact internet table sales table then it will move on to the next product and then on to the next product and so on. So in this video, we've just looked at how the iterator cardinality works. And if it's not well written, it could really blow out your uh, query and that could take a really long time. Um, so in this video, we've essentially discussed the concept of iterator cardinality. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers, bye.